everyone and welcome back to another video. As you can see in the title, today's video deals with cleaning a rabbit's bottom. More specifically, how to clean and what causes a rabbit's bottom to get dirty. Because rabbits are constant groomers, if your rabbit's bottom needs a bit more intervention, something is definitely wrong. The issue is largely health related to some degree. We will address the specifics momentarily. However, without further ado, let's jump right in with some helpful cleaning tips. If your rabbit's bottom is dirty, you have a couple of cleaning options, dry cleaning technique or wet cleaning. However, the ability to properly hold your rabbit during the cleaning process is indeed half the battle. Let's explore some handling tips. Step one. Pick up your rabbit and get them used to being handled. While there's a good chance that you've held your rabbit many times in the past, conduct a trial run. Allow your rabbit to get used to you before you continue with any type of cleaning measures. Step 2. Place your rabbit's back against your chest. Keep it firm so your pet can't escape. While you don't want to apply unnecessary pressure, firm but safe is the road to travel. Step 3. Place one hand under your rabbit's front legs against their chest. And the final step, step number four, support their bottom with your other hand. This should place your rabbit in a firm position that can give you access to your rabbit's bottom while keeping them safe and unable to escape. Once your rabbit is in this position, you can start the cleaning process. The dry cleaning technique can be used if your rabbit's bottom is a little dirty nothing major. The four-step cleaning process goes as follows. Number one, rub unscented cornstarch flour on your rabbit's bottom. Avoid starch that contains talc. Number two, allow the cornstarch to sink into the fur rather than just the top layer only. The deeper the starch, the more it will help to loosen any dry feces. Number three, use a wide tooth comb, non-metal teeth, and brush through the problematic fur. And finally, number four, gently pat your rabbit's bottom with a soft towel after combing. If needed, you can repeat this process. However, when only marginal cleaning is needed, the aforementioned guidelines should get the job done. If your rabbit has made a mess, to put it tactfully, you will need to use a wet clean technique. By following these notable steps, you should be able to clean your rabbit's bottom effectively without any lingering issues or complications. Step number one, fill a bowl with three inches of warm water. Not cold, not hot, warm is indeed the key word. The last thing you want to do is damage your rabbit's sensitive skin. Step number two, mix a single tablespoon of specifically formulated rabbit shampoo into the existing water. Never use shampoo that is designed for humans or other animals. Step three, gently lower your rabbit in the shampoo mixed water. Massage the dirty fur, similar to the way you would massage the hair on your head. This will ensure that the area in question is receiving a detailed cleaning. Step four, because the water will likely get dirty in no time, start again and repeat the process. Repeat as many times as needed until you can clean your rabbit's bottom without the solution changing colors. And step five, once finished, towel dry your rabbit and or blow dry on very low heat. While the dry and wet cleaning methods are incredibly effective, getting to the root cause of the issue should always be your goal. If you have to repeat this process on a routine basis, then something is very wrong. Once you're able to solve the underlying issue, you will likely be able to eliminate this unpleasant scenario. Let's take a quick look as to why your rabbit would have a dirty bottom and why this problem could potentially return. Rabbits are quite similar to cats when it comes to cleanliness. A healthy and happy cat will never neglect its appearance. The same is true for rabbits. If your bunny has a dirty bottom after dirty bottom, then something else is at work. The core trio of causes primarily center around poor and improper diet, limited mobility, and obesity. The first concern has to do with intake. If you're feeding your rabbit all the wrong foods, then bowel complaints will become all the more common. Limited mobility and obesity can hinder your rabbit in respect to grooming efforts. 
If your rabbit is physically incapable of staying clean in the bottom area, then the root cause needs to be explored as soon as possible. Elderly and arthritic rabbits can suffer in this fashion. If obesity is the cause, then basic dietary changes will likely rectify the issue in due time. Hay and straw, coupled with a minimal amount of fresh vegetables and leafy greens, can help your rabbit to lose a few pounds. Once your rabbit begins to drop the weight, general activity levels will increase, and with it, much needed flexibility. It should be noted above all that a perpetually dirty bottom can pose a health risk to your rabbit. The issue goes beyond simple appearance. This is why this subject matter goes beyond visuals alone. Dried feces on your rabbit's fur can potentially lead to cracked skin in and around the area that could promote a potentially fatal infection. Being proactive is the key. Feeding your rabbit a proper diet and keeping your pet in good health, especially as it relates to flexibility, can allow your rabbit to groom naturally without wet and or dried feces becoming a problem. From all of us here at RabbitCareTips.com, we thank you so much for watching. And we hope you found this content helpful and informative. Until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day.